Hello everyone, this is Solid Pipe Films, and as always, I am Peter. So today I'm bringing to you Firewatch. Uh, this is going to be a full playthrough, um, if I can manage it. <laughs> uh, this game was recommended to me by a friend. It just came out today on Steam. Uh, it looks very interesting, and from what I've heard of it, and what I've seen very little of, it's kind of a choose-your-own-adventure slash... Uh, like first person game so I'm kind of interested to see where this goes and it's supposed to have a pretty good story and um, I, have, I have no idea what I'm in store for I was just literally told by a friend get this game play it so I decided no, I'm gonna record it uh, so I have no idea what we're in store for no idea what's gonna happen but um, here we go oh, wow this is I like that um, also I actually volunteered at a fire tower for about five years of my life um, in the Catskills of New York and it wasn't quite like this, it was a little bit smaller uh, and much much taller um, but yeah, uh, so I have a little bit of background in this so maybe that will come into play, I don't know, let's find out uh, okay, new game oh, there we go, and we're in so like I said, I have no idea what we're in store for no idea what's going to happen, what the, the, the story of the game is, what's going to happen oh I'm in a restaurant or a diner Making me hungry though. Actually, I really want coffee now. I really want coffee. Damn, oh, Boulder, Colorado, 1975. I've been to Colorado. Not at that year though. That was before I was born. You see Julia. Who's Julia? Do I know her? Oh, oh, okay. I can click on it. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with a well-dressed professor and grad students from nearby CU uh, Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Oh, am I drunk? I've, okay, yes, yes, I'm drunk. <laughs> okay. Um, so I have two options here. Um, so what? So what's you know your major or you're you're pretty? Um, okay, I don't want to offend her. I guess I think the point is to not offend her. So uh, maybe this is the better approach. <laughs> you slur your words. No, you slur the word major, and it smells like cores. Oh, so there should have been quotations about the word major. I think. Uh, anyway, you give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Oh, wait. She has a major and she's a professor. Okay. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> That's a good one. Was that a burn, you ask? I think it was, pal. Not quite honestly. Uh, she says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you and Julia are... You were Julia's boyfriend. Wow. I'm sorry if I'm terrible at reading and talking at the same time. It's, like, not my strong point. I'll get better. Oh. Uh. Wow. I'm in, I'm in a... I'm in a... Elevator. This is interesting. Okay. Um. Look at the graphics and the, uh, the motion blur. Um. It's my backpack, I guess. I'll take that. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty nice. I like this. I, I did. Oh, that's my truck, too. Oh, I love my truck. Oh, why did I leave this down? That's a myth that that um, saves on gas mileage leaving your tailgate down, by the way. It doesn't really help. Uh, you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. <clears throat> Julia wants to get a dog. Oh. I love dogs. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen with Julia walking this dog. It's badass. Ooh, um... Oh, that's tough. Um... Oh my god, the beagle's name is Bucket. That's adorable. Um, and then the German Shepherd's name, Mayhem. <laughs> um, 
Well, I'm pretty sure that I named that one, and she must have named that one. Maybe it's Bouquet. It's like that series from the 80s, the TV series, Mrs. Bouquet. Um, oh, well, I, I, I really have this instinct of being protective of the ones I love, so maybe I, I would probably persuade her to go with the shepherd, and I might just go with, he has very gentle eyes, so, you know, he's probably a very good dog, um, and well-mannered, but he'll be protective, too, so, um, let's go with that. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Oh, I knew it. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet. All rolled into one. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. Well, yeah, they're, they're kids, dumbass. I'm saying if you and I had some, a couple little idiots. A couple little idiots? Um, uh, well, I mean, I don't know how I feel about children personally, myself, but, um, Henry, um, I don't know, I mean, hasn't been that long. Actually, and they're not even really married yet. They're still boyfriend and girlfriend, so it's kind of an interesting question to ask at this point. Um, I mean, the safe bet would probably be to go here, so I feel like let's do that. She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. <laughs> One day, okay? One day, she asks, says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Oh, that's kind of a nice romantic way of doing it, just kind of nice and gentle. Oh, okay, well. Um, well I'm on a trail now. Yep, Colorado license plate, look at that. I hope that's not anyone's real license plate, by the way. Um, that would suck. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see, where am I here? Thoroughfare Trailhead. There's a map here. Um, those don't look like any actual places I know in Colorado. I don't know of a Ruby River. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, do not forget to check in. Uh, you're in the country. Learn to live with bears. No. Uh, thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Uh, thoroughfare is a primitive backcountry trail, and I can't read the rest, unfortunately, because of the lens glare, or I'm sorry, the, the bloom effect is making it impossible to read. No fireworks. Well, that's that's definitely recommended in Colorado, uh, especially in this area. Oh, check in. Um, nope. Uh, well, I can't check in, apparently, so I guess... Nope, I guess uh, no one will know I'm here. Let's just go on in. This is beautiful, actually. I love the... Uh, okay, I'm blacking out. <laughs> That's... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I'm really a bad hiker if I black out like the first couple minutes into hiking. Oh, it's 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Well, I know if that would happen to me, I wouldn't have fallen asleep yet, so that's probably what happened here. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh, well, I either get mad or I ignore her. Um, see, neither of those ones appeal to me because I, I'm one of the kind of people that likes to resolve things, not get very angry about something like this. And I wouldn't ignore the person either. That's that's not fair, especially if they're drunk too. You know, like there's a lot of high emotions sometimes when you're drunk. But. Oh, if I had to pick the lesser of two evils, I'd probably go with ignoring her just so I don't make things worse. So let's let's do that. It's the only option. That this I can tell there's gonna be some tough choices to make in this game already. <clears throat> you don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. Uh, you make some coffee and go to work. I kinda wish I had a choice there. 1981, okay, so it's been a year now. 
Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Oh, so... Well, I can either flex like a He-Man, or I can frog like a Victoria's Secret model. Um, I occasionally have spouts of um, flamboyancy. Um, so... Mm, I'm gonna go with that one. Just because it's kind of funny. And, you know, for this kind of occasion, it's, it's nice to have a relationship like that. Just kind of, you know... Be funny in yourself around the person you love. Very nice. <laughs> well, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> that. Okay. Oh. Oh, sunset. Um, wait. Sunset? Who goes hiking right as the sun's about to set? That's the dumbest thing you could ever do. Uh, hiking. You don't do that. You go early in the morning so you have plenty of time. Besides, I don't even know how long this trail is. Then again, I might have been here for a couple hours, so it might just be very late in the day now. Uh, two fork. Two forks, fire lookout. Oh. Huh. Eight more miles. Oh, so, yeah, I've probably been hiking a very long time, because eight miles is going to take a while. Um, okay. Oh, I like that there's prompts that help. That's helpful. I got a ways to go, I guess. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. <laughs> There's a festival in town. It brings all folks from all places. I uh, didn't read that correctly. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Oh my god. That's terrible. Good thing I got that dog. Mayhem runs away? Oh my god. May my mo fuck. The, the dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. Uh... Well, I either scare him away or I beat the, his goddamn face in. Um, well, he didn't do anything yet, except he is threatening the one I love, so... Uh, I'm not a violent person, but I don't know if scaring him away is going to do it. Well, he has a knife, and I don't think, uh, I don't think that's going to work. You know what? Go for it. Uh, I don't know, though, because if it's too much and I actually get in trouble for it, that might not be good. But he does have a knife. But that might not work. But that was probably the safer bet, at least legally, because unfortunately these days if you, you know, even attack someone who's attacking you, you know, they can always take you to court, and it's, it's bullshit the way the legal system works these days. Anyway, um, oh, I'm going to just try scaring him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun, threatening to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. <laughs> I scare all three of us? Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Oh, what about a mayhem? Do we ever find him again? 1984. No. I guess not. Plans to have kids gets waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associates department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh, convince her not to take the job. Agree if she commutes back and forth. Wow, that actually kind of hit home for me. Uh, I don't like either of those options, and I know, you know if I don't want to go somewhere, I don't want to go somewhere. And I, I kind of empathize, sympathize, empathize with, with Henry. Um, I understand how that feels. Besides, he's probably built up a life here, and it's hard to leave sometimes when you've worked so hard for something you've done in a place you've called home. Oh, but I would never stand in the way of somebody taking their dream job. Ever, ever do that. That's not how love works. So there's only one option. It's not the best one, but it's this one. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up and she, if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Well, that's not too bad. It's tough, though. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on a paid leave after having an episode 
She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her for research. Oh no. She didn't remember she would happily loan them to him just two days prior. Why? How, why did she freak? I mean, it's just the stress, I guess. Or I hope that's what it is, nothing medical. She was found crying in a stairwell. You said that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it. Or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Well, forgetting about it's not going to help. Maybe the macaroni and drinking wine will help, but the forgetting won't. That's a hard thing, so it's obviously talking to someone. As hard as that is, too. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they're worried that Julia might be suffering from an early onset dementia. Oh no, Julia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it secret for now. Oh, that's so sad. That's, that's again, that hits home for me. Um, I know people who have that issue. Um, and I know that's something I'm very, very afraid of myself. I don't... I would never want to be a burden on anyone that I love because of that. To have, just for them to slowly watch me disappear and to watch somebody else have that happen to them, that's, that's terrible. Um, I really wish I could lower the music. Um, I can't actually seem to find a menu. Well, uh, oh, um, hey, Coleman. Wow, it's actually Coleman brand. Or does it say... No, it says Cold Man, I think. It might say Cold Man, I can't tell. Anyway, journal. Oh. My God. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have went with the He-Man one. <laughs> Woo. Anyway, um, Mayhem is getting older. Oh, we found Mayhem. I didn't realize. I, I thought he ran away. I didn't know we found him. Okay. Uh, he's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends to see your friends and feel like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is a shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought back home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh, that's so sad. That's terrible. Some days, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Oh. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Uh, this is... I, I wasn't expecting this from, from this game. It's... it's I, I'm actually rather speechless. I, I didn't assume. Um, 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You either decide to move her into a full-time care facility, or you're determined to take care of yourself. I, I know there are some good homes out there. I know there really are, but I, I hear too much. I've seen too much of them, and I could never put a loved one in a home. I don't think I could do it unless I couldn't care for them myself, but Henry seems like he's in good enough shape to do it. I mean, they're only, what, in their 40s, maybe? Yes. So, uh, I think you should take care of her. I think that's what we should do. Oh, uh, oh, right, I was sleeping. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, oh, no, I wasn't. Okay, I was actually just looking up at the sky. Never mind. Wow, this is just... The game is beautiful, but the story is just so sad. I didn't expect this. Oh, this is really beautiful, though. It really is. Um, not sure if... Oh, oh, I should probably watch where I'm going. Oh, look. Oh. Hi. It's okay. I'm friendly. Bye. <laughs>